In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect two BME 280s on the same I2C bus. This here is a BME 280. It's a temperature, humidity, and air pressure sensor. And I2C needs an address to be able to get the information off the bus. This device by default has an address, but it has a second address you can use as well. And to get that second address, what you need to do is, if you notice, there are three pads right there. These two pads, the first one and that second one there, are connected together. You need to cut a little line in between there. I used a Stanley knife to cut that line and make sure that they are not connected anymore by using a continuity meter. So use your multimeter on the continuity setting and test between that and that pad. As long as that's not connected anymore, then you should be fine. The next step is to take a soldering iron and connect a little bit of solder in between those two pads and that will enable the second address. So one of them you want to keep like this and the other one you want to do something like I've done here. It's not the neatest job in the world but it does work. You can see I cut away the connection between those two pads and I put a bit of solder across. I tested that those two are connected and those two aren't connected and that means I have two separate addresses that can be addressed via the I2C bus. Let's have a look at the code and see how we can collect data from both of these devices using the Adafruit library. If you've been following my beginner's guide to automation series, you'll recognize this code. This is from a video I did recently where I connected to a BME 280. We can see that I was using the Adafruit library and we created an object called BME. We're going to be using exactly the same library to connect to two BME 280s. So let me show you what that looks like now. Let's start by adding the Adafruit library and creating two objects because we have two devices. So instead of like we did before, which is just did that to create one object called BME, we're creating two because we're going to be addressing two. The next thing we need to do is initialize them. So we're just going to put in some code here just to start the serial monitor. We're going to create a variable called status, which we're going to use to get the result of trying to start the BME 280 in terms of connecting it with the I2C bus. And you can see there we're using this address for the first one and we're using a separate address for the second one. And that allows us to then connect. If it cannot connect, if there's an error, then it's going to print out which one has the error. The next thing we need to do is actually get the information from the sensors. And that is pretty much it. So before we send this off to the ESP32, we're going to have a look at how it's wired. The wiring is actually exactly the same for both of the BME 280s. We have the SCL and the SDA line connected together. So we can see there the orange and yellow line is coming through to the SDA and SCL line here. So it's exactly the same pins. And then obviously ground and VN is exactly the same as well. And in this case, we're using 3.3 volts. So we can see that it's on the power rail. And there we have the ground coming through to the ground pin over there. And that's the three volts coming out over there. SDA and SCL are connected over there. So let's connect it up and give it a try. And there we go. We have the readings from both of the sensors and they're pretty close to each other. That's the nice thing with the accuracy here. If you were using a DHT22 and you had multiple of them, you would see far more variation than you're seeing here. But just to prove that these are both getting independent readings, I will touch the sensor for one of them and you'll see that's BME2 and that is going up in temperature. If I then take my finger off, it should start going down again. And I'll touch the other one. And we can see that that will start going up now as well. And there we go. A quick look at how you can connect two BME 280s on the same I2C bus and get readings from it. Pretty simple once you know how, but I hope that helps you out. And until the next video, thanks for watching and stay spicy.